Um, I learned how to fight. First of all, um, when I was in the concentration camps, I started to become a kind of fighter. And of course, being plopped into West Oakland, the need to know how to fight was important, but I had some advantages at home. Number one, my father was a good barroom brawler, and he was also a fight promoter, and I used to go with him to the gyms, and the boxers there would teach me how to box. In addition to that, my uncle, Ruzo, had a black belt in jiu-jitsu and aikido and kendo and he taught me um, the rudiments of those martial arts. Uh, you couple that with just straight street fighting, I was a dangerous little oriental and um, I generally tried to avoid getting into fights um, primarily because being Oriental, I was small, but if I were provoked, I would go off, and that is a good um, part of fighting, um, because once you go off, you just don't feel what's happening, you just do as much damage as you can, while you can, while you're still on your feet, and I don't think I ever went down. I took down a number of people, but I don't ever recall hitting the ground in all the fights that I had. Um, what would you estimate your rec fight record to be? Career lifetime? Career, I would say 50 and 0. No, 50 and 1. I did get my ass whipped one time. <laughs> I tried playing bully one time and learned the lesson of my life. <laughs> I picked on somebody that was smaller than me just out of mischief and he kicked the shit out of me. <laughs> Embarrassed me. <laughs> and that was a lesson that I kind of held that bullyism don't work. Then I started carrying a blade around, and when I hit Berkeley High School was when um, my rep was kind of sealed because um, in all the fights I got at Berkeley High School, I didn't lose a single one. Um, and I don't want to sound racist, ain't no white boy ever whipped my ass when I was a kid. That gave me kind of a little edge psychologically. Why, boy? <laughs> Come on, you must be kidding. Now, bloods or blacks, I would think about. I mean, there were some blacks I wouldn't fight. I mean, I wasn't, you know, I could fight, but I wasn't crazy. There were some that were bigger, better, faster than I was. And I knew that. And I said, well, maybe I better be friends with this person instead. And being the charming self that I was, I did um, manage to avoid getting hurt. And then I had a kind of a secondary advantage. I had a younger brother who was about my size, who was always my backup. So I had the confidence that my back was covered. Sometimes it's in the state of mind. If you go in thinking you're gonna get your ass whipped, you probably get your ass whipped. But if you go in thinking, you're gonna just tear them up. Think positive. Pardon? Is that how you fought during the Panther days? Yeah. 
well, don't forget, I had had eight years of the military before that, so my skills were really good in that area. And Huey had this style of, he, he would go crazy, and he was fast. Um, and I would say he was either as fast or faster than me, which is a compliment because I was fast in my day. And he had weight behind him to, and when he decked him, he would be able to put him down. My style, I had to hit him three or four times before I could take somebody down. Now, these days, I couldn't fight my way out of a paper bag. That's how pitiful I am. Shit. <laughs>